Now we are back. We're doing the physics bootcamp series. Now we go to test two review. Test two will cover topics such as Newton's laws, overall uh, dynamics, um, and we have also um, uh, momentum, kinetic energy, potential energy, and basically all of those things that are in the, usually it'll be the second unit of a mechanics class where you're covering things like circular motion or maybe Newton's laws, dynamics, you're covering uh, kinetic potential energy, momentum, collisions, things like that. So we start out with the first question, question number one. Which one of Newton's three laws explains why you need a seat belt to stop your body from crashing into the front window when you suddenly hit the brakes? These kinds of questions requires you to have a good understanding of Newton's three laws and how they apply and in which situation they apply. So Newton's first law says that an object uh, uh, tends to go in a straight line or tends to stay at rest unless an, uh, an external force uh, stops it or unless an external force exerts a force on it and uh, makes it accelerate. So the first law, also known as the law of inertia, states that the body's natural motion is to either stay at rest or to keep going at a constant speed. So stay at rest or keep going at constant speed. Newton's second law states that when a force is exerted on an object, that force will make it accelerate, and acceleration will be proportional to the force, F equals ma. The greater the force, the greater the acceleration will be, and the constant of proportionality is its mass, okay? So uh, essentially, basically, this is stating that for a given amount of mass, the greater the force, the greater the acceleration, The greater the force, the greater acceleration will be, and the less the force, the less the acceleration. Or you could think of it this way, for a, given, for a given amount of force, if you have a small mass, the acceleration will be big. For a big mass, the acceleration will be small. So if a given amount of force is exerted on several objects, the, the object with the least mass will have the greatest acceleration, the object with the most mass will have the least acceleration. So there's a couple different ways you can view the uh, second law. The third law of Newton is basically action-reaction. It says that for every action force, there's an equal and opposite reaction force from the other uh, source. So out of these laws then, which one explains why you need a seat belt if, you, if the car goes and crashes into something? Well, since the body's natural motion is for you to go in a straight line, if the car crashes into something, your body is naturally going to want to continue going at that same speed, right? So you're gonna need an external force. Uh, in this case, the external force is provided by the seat belt. That external force will stop you from going uh, at a constant speed. So which law explains why you need the external force? The first law. So the first law, is the one that says why you need a seat belt, okay? Now, if it asks you uh, something like, which of one of the following explains why the seat belt has to exert more force if you are more massive, then you would say the second law. If you're more massive, the force that the belt would have to exert on you would have to be more, right? But the first law explains why you need the seat belt and the second law would explain how much force the seat belt would have to apply, okay? So this is the answer is the first law. Now we go to the second question. 